double check. Yeah, I did not. Hmm. That is so odd. Explosions in the distance. Pay that no mind. Doesn't concern you. What? You're awfully bossy. Mr. Fox, you're going to get taken out in all this. some of that on me. No, didn't work. See you scanning. You guys left. I think I'm in the clear. the loot. Definitely not scrap. Getting close now. Head for that ridge. Okay, Mr. Bossy. Got me doing all the work. Next, just over this ridge. You'll see it when you reach the top. Now be ready to act fast. You need to get in and get it done before they raise an alarm. 
Oh, okay. Thanks. Where's this at on the map? Over here. So what? We need to be stealthy to do this? Don't worry about taking out anybody. Just get over here and get it done. Here we go. Oh, oh, okay. Cutscene. You getting this? I see the legs of a tall neck down there, but no tall neck. Damn. The transmitter's been moved. Check down the ravine to the left. Only place it could be. So much for your insider knowledge. Toward the explosions. Great. You got exactly one shot at this Aloy, so spare the sarcasm and make it count. You see that bridge over the ravine? Yep. Memorize its location. There's a rappel point on the side. That'll be your way out. And these Eclipse troopers? Avoid them or kill them, your choice. Huh. The blasting should cover any noise you make. Find the tall neck and destroy the module on top. Here we go. Great. What? You're wasting time, Eloy. The longer you take it, the more likely you are to fail. I grow tired of this place. I want Marie. Okay. I want to fight for the shadow, not play in the dirt. Where am I supposed to go? Uh, to the left. I think... Not sure. Someone just killed one of us. Can I loot along the way? Let's see. Um, let's just mark these guys so we at least know where they're at. What's that? Leaning, lean, whoa. Some armors, leaning trunk. All right, let's see. We need some tall grass that we can get to. see any tall grass. How do I get out of here? The ground here looks churned up. Drag marks leading towards that gate. The gate's barred. No getting past that. Okay. You'll have to find another way. You think? Yeah, you're no help, dude. So that means I gotta go all the way around. When we take leave the revenge killings to heal us. All I want is to take a bath. Tricky. All right, let's see if we can take him out. Contact. Come on. I didn't even see you over there. Come out of the grass and fight. Here. 
here! They're fighting up ahead? No. It's a mining operation. What? So long as you're quick, it won't affect you. Oh, good. Another secret. Long as I'm quick. Yeah, thanks. Oh, did I kill everybody? Well, I don't want to be quick. I want to look around. I want to collect all the goodies. I want to know what that is. Remains of a stripped tree, weak root anchorage, leaning trunk. That shelter. Bigger than the others. Find the tall neck, Aloy. There's no time to poke around. Hey, that is if I make time. That's right. And I'm making time. Screw you. We are looking around. Yes, we are. I'll tuck that away. What is this place? A distraction. There are several data points. And I am getting them. Every morning, I wake to the same nightmare. The same reality. Holy Meridian, in the hands of profligates. Debased. The Spire. Towering above the horizon like in a glittering spike through the center of my mind. Every daybreak in exile is a mark of failure. But the count of days runs thin. I will see Meridian retaken. The profligates slaughtered. A true king restored to the Mesa throne. In this, I have become an instrument of prophecy. Push. Okay, we're not gonna push anything yet. Okay, so we got that one. Let's look at this one. When sleep refuses to come, I think of our wedding night. How you welcomed me to the marital bed. How after, when you fell asleep, I lay there watching your delicate face. For all its beauty, I detested its fragility. A rage swelled up inside me. I abhorred that bed, how its softness threatened to swallow us up. And that room, the stench of incense, the fine embroidery of the drapes, all of it weak. I slipped from the bed, threw open the casement, and lay naked on the stone floor. Determined to spurn all seductions of comfort. But when I woke the next morning, you lay beside me, naked as I in the cold. Your body, stretched beside mine, seemed chiseled from stone. I saw you wake, instantly alert, like an animal ready to strike. You said nothing. You did not have to. Already you had shown me beyond doubt that we were meant to be. Got too much already. Okay, so we saw this repel point that um, we could examine, but we'll do that in a minute. We still have some more data points over here to get.
Never does the sun show pity. And yet, when my wife died in birthing, and in dying into the life of my child unborn, I pitied myself. My lord sensed this. But instead of casting me down for weakness, he cast upon me a radiant beam of honor. He ordered my kin buried in the sacred caves reserved for royals and heroes. Unimaginable. Never again would I doubt that I am the Chosen of the Sun. Never again would pity find a place in me. Not for myself or another. Chosen of the Sun. When I first set eyes on the buried shadow, I trembled. Was I not the Chosen of the Sun? A blazing light of faith to shred and scatter darkness? Was it not my place to destroy this devil? But High Priest Bahavas instructed me in the prophecy and set right my frame of mind. The murder of the true Sun King broke the cosmic cycle short of completion. A whole world cast into darkness, doomed. To resume and turn the wheel of time would require more than sun and faith. All forces must combine. All halves of nature join to one cause. Shadow to sun, night to day. Even a buried shadow wants the wheel to turn. For without a sun in the sky, there can be no shadow. Hmm. Okay, last data point. Meridians fall. My lord. The 13th king of the Karsha Sundom was murdered. Cut down by cowards who mistook firm rule for madness. Ever the strong are beset upon by the weak. So he said, as the traitors launch their assault. As their cannons forged by Asaram filth topple the battlements and burst the gates. I would have fought to the end. But it was his will. The will of the sun that I lead the prince and queen into the west to safety. My lord did not hesitate. He saw his fate. He looked into the sun and he did not blink. With me, he sent kestrels, nobles, sun priests, and slaves. Killing all that stood in the way, I carved a path to sunfall. There. We joined others to gather the strength to take back our home. But our strength only faded until the buried shadow was brought to light. It had been coddled. So long as King Itaman languishes at sunfall, coddled by his mother, he will never learn the true lessons of the sun. I have tried to instruct him, but the shadow of his mother's influence is upon him. I took him to the palace balcony to behold an offering of sacrifice in the ring, but he showed no thirst for it. He averted his gaze. Look to the sun, I told him. Do not shield your eyes. In all things, it is absolute. One day, it nurtures life, and the next, scorches life away. He burns the skin of champions and wretches alike. Never does the sun show pity. That is the example a Sun King must follow. The example of your father. But before my instruction could take hold, she was there, clutching him to her robes, burying his face against her breast. How is a king to rule when he cannot even see? Lots of data points here. Let's examine this. Armor. There's only one man big enough to wear this. Helis. Let's go examine. This is his shelter. Not exactly fancy. What would you expect of a fanatic? His only extravagance is his brutality. So you know him. Just enough to want to stop him. Let's examine this mirror. The mural of Meridian and the spire. Holy Meridian. That's how he sees it. And his destiny is to win it back. 
Okay, let's go back over here. Before we push the big log, which is over here, or push whatever it is they want us to push. Looks like the tree. I don't know how she's gonna push that big heavy tree. But let's go back here and look at this repel point as we could examine it. The repel point. It'll get me out of here, but first I need to crash the network. Okay. Crash the network first. Anything else of interest in here? I think I got everything. And I couldn't pick that up. I was already full. All right. Okay, that tall neck is alert. Over. Irregular data flow near. Security may be compromised. Hmm. Okay. Girl, you are strong. What the heck? <laughs> Alright. He's a fanatic, alright. Single-minded. It gives him a focus that you seem to lack. Now how about finding that tall neck? It would not have been easy to drag the tall neck down this path. Why bother? Just find it and get to the top. Destroy the module and then get out fast. Alert. Irregular transmission source detected. I'm sorry. Then get out as fast as I can. <laughs> Is that what you're trying to tell me? Okay. Almost there. Whoa. Signals around here somewhere. Okay, it's up there. Oh, there it is. Okay. I see it. They've built some kind of structure around it. Climb it. The sooner this is done, the better. I don't like this. It feels wrong. Everything here is wrong. Just get to the module and destroy it. Yeah, it doesn't feel too good. Something doesn't feel right. I don't trust this guy. I really don't. Okay, so let's see. Can we climb it this way? see any other place to go so maybe not I did see a ramp around here let's try the ramp the module good now be quick this this is hades Aloy, this is not the time it's a metal devil open the module's casing now Aloy, do as i say or all is lost okay all right <clears throat> whoa whoa uh-oh this isn't good Oh crap. Entity has come oh. here. Oh jeez. Entity miscalculated. Entity cannot destroy me. 
I am beyond its reach. Maybe you are. But this isn't! Whoa. Destroy the entity. Destroy the entity? Oh, crap. Oh, my goodness. Here we go. We should have known it couldn't have been this easy. supposed to be doing? Oh, we gotta get out of here. Talk about Keep moving! Keep moving. I'm moving. Yeah, you think? What do you think I'm doing? Taking a nap? Come on, Aloy! Oh no! No, no, no! Okay. Oh crap! This looks easy. Almost out of it. Are you kidding? Keep moving or you'll die. Don't fight. Keep moving. Run, don't ah. fight. Yeah. Uh, what? Don't head left towards the camp. Oh my gosh. Don't. Almost there. The whole base is on high alert. Yeah, I noticed. Keep moving. Watch out, there's more ahead. Whoa! Whoa! Bridge in sight. That's the way out. I know. Woo! That was bonkers! Whoa! Whoa! That was bonkers and fun at the same time. <laughs> Don't fight, just roll. But we made it. Oh, are you hurt, Aloy? You have some explaining to do, Silence. Some explaining. going but you survived you knew Hades was there and you sent me to him I won't deny I risked your life but it was the only way now with a focus network down we can both get what we want access to the secrets of zero dawn I'm past trusting you with secrets good that means you're wising up trust is for fools it shifts and crumbles like sand. A poor foundation for any partnership. But mutual self-interest. Now that is a solid bedrock upon which you and I might build a new science of understanding. We both need answers, Aloy. And thanks to you, we're on the verge of grasping them. It's unfold. We'll speak again. Jerk. You miserable... Damn him. Complete a main quest to curse the darkness. If I could toss this focus and be rid of you, Silence, I would. But we both know I need it. Sunfall it is. And Zero Dawn. New main quest. Deep Secrets of the Earth. Let's heal real quick. And then let's take a look at where we're going now. Uh... 
Okay, we still have a metal flower over there, a campfire. Okay, this isn't the last area that we have not uncovered. Nice, very nice, 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 nice. Okay, there is a campfire here, so let's go to the campfire first. And I believe we've already talked to that merchant. Let's look at our quest. Deep Secrets of the Earth. Aloy explores the ancient ruins beneath the citadel and unravels the unbelievable truth of Project Zero Dawn. Go to Sunfall. Evidence indicates that the facility where Elizabeth Sobeck worked on Project Zero Dawn ties buried beneath the citadel. All right. Okay, wait a minute. I saw something in our notebooks. Probably these data points, yes. Wow, there's still all those data points left? That's quite a few. And a bunch of hologram points. I wonder if any of this, though, is part of the um, DLC. Because there's still a lot left here. Hmm. Now we found all of the machines in the base game. Oh, okay, so the Frozen Wilds audio data points are separate. So, we still have all these data points that we have not found? Yikes. Okay. Alright, let's get the heck out of here. Need them soon enough. Never takes long before scrappers come looking for parts. We're not worried about no stinking scrappers. Though I do hear something bouncing around. Ooh. Okay. Mr. Scrapper. Leave you alone. Get over here and save. 